Okay, well we're ready for setting up for uh, a bed. It's coming up to 8 in the evening. It's, um, it's quite a st Lassie, go over there. Go on, Lassie, go and settle down. Go on. It's cooling off, but not cold. Uh, so, go on, go back over there. <laughs> Let's see. It's cooling off, but not cold. But uh, I thought, well, it's only another hour to go, and I need to have my soup and dinner and things like that. I don't want to be eating, you know, too late. So I think I'm going to, it's just as easy just to sort of, you know, set up in camp now. You know, I could stay out a bit longer, of course. It looks uh, the usual mess and it will need tidying up somewhat. I've put this sheet of Cuban down here. It is out in the exposed open. So if uh, dew lands, as I'm very sure it will, this, this is going to get uh, damp. So I may very well shift this or I may just leave it here and you know put up with it getting you know damp with some dew it's not supposed to rain at all so I can always wipe it down I've brought over from the Hillyburg which is still over there everything that I'm likely to need uh, plus more I've brought all the food over. I don't want to leave any food over there in case any mice appear or anything like that. I think mice are more likely to run away from Lassie being over over here than, uh, than, than you know, with no protection over there. So I've brought all the food over, even though it's not strictly needed. I'm going to sort everything out <laughs> as best as I can while I'm talking so camera pouch I'm gonna leave out because I'll put the camera in it food I've got here so I'm just gonna leave that that battery packs I'm just gonna leave here as well right tea stuff I've got here so I'm gonna put that over there what can you see so that's my tea stuff there. Right, torch, which I'm going to want later. I would like to put the torch in one specific place because it's never the first time I'm wondering where the devil my torch is. I did bring, uh, <laughs> I did bring a spare watch, and <laughs> you never know when you know <laughs> when you might need a spare watch. So, for obvious security reasons, I'm not going to leave that over there. I might do another watch video, we'll see how it goes. Right, uh, speaker. For the moment, I'm gonna put that there, but I must remember not to leave that out. Phone, I'm gonna put over there. And these cakes, I'm gonna put there. Rubbish bag I've got here, so I'm just gonna put that there. This is my food, so I'm going to need that later. I've got uh, water in this area. Oh, toothpaste. I don't know about other people. I tend to forget to do my teeth when I'm out, but <laughs> I'm just going to keep the, keep the toothpaste out to remind me. My hat, because I might need my hat later. And a towel. I put my shirt in case I need it from coolness in there and I put my down jacket at the other end under the uh, thingy <laughs> under the cover and also the quilt liner I've put down there and then here I've got my nighttime trousers socks and a long sleeve top and my wind shirt now, I like to wear a wind shirt at night because it's, uh, because it's windproof and I like to have airy shelters like this. Obviously, you can get more airflow than in a normal tent. So in a normal tent, you may not need this. But I find this really, really useful because it kind of acts as an addition to the, you know, to the tap. So when I'm sitting up, 
eating, watching a program, you know, drinking, whatever, then, you know, these items of clothing here keep my body warm, but of course air just flows straight through them. So a windshirt, of course, can help, you know, stop the airflow, and that just helps keep my body warm. And then I, what I'll probably do, in all honesty, is I'll probably move this over. I may just move this over, do something with this, I'm not quite sure what yet. If I do it like that, that actually acts as a little bit of a, I don't know if that comes out on camera. But like that, that uh, acts as a little bit of a, a little bit of a barrier there. It's a shame I haven't got a tag on there, to be honest. But uh, that might help keep some of the stuff here dew free. I can put my cooking pot about here, which should be fairly convenient for eating and cooking and everything. I think the next thing to do is to get into bed. And I've not done one of these for a while. <laughs> so. First of all, we take shoes off. A strength from a pole up, as you see in another video. Right, you might have to uh, just close your eyes here. In fact, in all honesty, you can't see anything anyway. Just my leg. Oh, legs. I'll have to decide where to put my trousers. I may put them under this actually. actually this, this bit of uh, Cuban is quite, uh, it's quite useful. That's actually a good place to put your, that's actually a good place to put your trousers under there because that's uh, I think reasonably waterproof. Yeah if I fold this under, yeah, just find a waterproof place for that. I do take my uh, bottoms off. This t-shirt I'm going to leave on. I don't think you can see anything. Right, and again, those can go in there. That's really convenient. At the moment it's quite warm so I won't put that on for the minute, but I'm very sure it will go on a bit later. I am quite close <laughs> to the wall, even though for space, of course in the competition, this shelter won, because of course it did. Was it ever going to lose? You know, quite clearly you are a little bit limited to space. I do like to wear leggings and socks. It, one, it helps keep the sleeping bag clean and two, it's just, uh, it just gives that little extra warmth and I will say I do sleep very cold. And because I sleep so cold, you know, it does give that little extra warmth. And then we get in something like, oh, that. Oh. And that, as they say, is that I could actually do with a little bit more room here. I think I'm going to make a, a small adjustment and just raise, just see if I can raise this side up here a little bit. Right, I've just uh, 
done this. So I took my socks off because I don't want my socks and shoes getting wet. So I put a long line on there and then I just had to readjust that one there. But it's just raised that side up. Now obviously it does mean there's more chance of, uh, of wind getting through but there is this mound down there which should give some protection and it's not exactly um, you know it's not exactly winter where you know a draft isn't going to matter I think a bit more space is uh, the order of the day <laughs> with that uh, minor adjustment which you know just meant adding one line I've given myself room behind the head which I didn't have before so I have to say this is very very comfortable not quite sure what it would be like if it was uh, <laughs> if the weather became really inclement but then you know we probably wouldn't be uh, you know chancing this in very inclement weather but this is uh of course i'm quite close to the edge here as well so if uh you know if the weather did change you know dramatically of course you're not going to have the same level of protection as a normal tap but that's not the idea of you know of this of this fun or anything like that so but I think this will be very comfortable for the uh, for the evening. And like I said, you've got just an amazing view. Obviously, you've got Lassie there. She's got food and water over there. Then here, I've got all my you know all my bits here. A cooker. I've got there cooker water everything the bread hopefully less you safe there and that's it and then one heck of a view in that direction and i'm gonna make tea soup something to eat a bit later it's half past eight and i'm just gonna chill out for the evening now I've got everything, every, everything I need. I don't need to move now until tomorrow. And hopefully this, hopefully this stays up all night. <laughs>